The braking system on a commercial motor vehicle is critical to its safe operation. It's not only important to know how to use the brakes effectively, but it's also important to know what you can do to keep them operating effectively. Over the next few minutes, we're going to go over a leak down pressure test. That is, how to identify that the braking system is working correctly, and also in this process, it will reset or allow the automatic slack adjusters to recalibrate and get back into adjustment if that is needed. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is start up the CMV and allow it to build air pressure to between 100 and 120 PSI. Next, we'll want to get out and chalk the wheels. Now that we've verified that we have the correct pressure, we'll shut off the commercial motor vehicle and turn the key into the on position. Next, we'll release both the tractor parking brake and trailer air supply. As we release the brakes, we want to make sure that we lose no more than 10 to 15 PSI. Once that pressure stabilizes, we want to make sure that in the next minute, without the brake applied, we lose no more than 3 PSI. After that, we'll then step on the service brake, and then the next minute, we'll make sure that we lose no more than 4 PSI. Once accomplished, we'll then begin fanning down the braking system. We'll fan down to 60 PSI, where the warning light and buzzer should both go off indicating low pressure. At that point, we'll continue to fan until the system reaches between 20 and 40 PSI, in which the spring brakes should set. Let's begin. There's our warning light and buzzer. As we continue to fan, the parking brake set. This lets us know that the spring brake system is working correctly, so we can go ahead and recharge the system. One more thing to mention is to make sure that as the system is recharging, so that it charges from between 85 to 100 PSI in 45 seconds. This allows us to determine whether or not the system is recharging correctly. And that is a leak down pressure test. We just confirm that the braking system, specifically the spring brakes and emergency brakes, work on both the tractor and the trailer if we're connected. Doing this daily as a regular part of your pre-trip will not only help you ensure that the braking system is working correctly, but also allow the slack adjusters to adjust for any slack that's gotten into the system so that our brakes are applying evenly. Thanks, we'll see you next time.